Hey, Don Copeland here today with our big boy, the Compress IUV 1200S. And uh, as we always seem to do around here, we're either having some fun or we're doing something practical. So what we're doing is we're gonna spruce up the uh, showroom here a little bit and we're printing out some signs. And uh, this is my big friend. Over here we have my little friend. And so uh, a little earlier we did a sign up. This is to show kind of the print area of the machine. This was actually done on the Compress IUV 600S, showing the print area of the machine. And I honestly can say, this is one of the most gorgeous prints we've ever done off of the machine. And we did this in our production mode, 720 by 720, it's what we call our production quality mode with a three pass print. And we actually printed a clear overcoat of the varnish over top of this to give it a real glossy type of finish, which is just beautiful. This is, uh, this is I gotta look at the back and cheat a little bit. This is called, foamed PVC sheets. I am not endorsing a manufacturer, but there are several companies that make this. This is kind of like a sign board that you would use outside, uh, made out of the same material that Coroplast is. It's got a smoother, solid flat, and this, this foam that's in the middle is actually PVC, so it's not gonna deteriorate outside. Um, the material was about, I think it was like $62 a sheet, something like that, and uh, it's, it's four foot by eight foot, which is 32 square foot, which means roughly $2 a square foot. This is a three square foot sign. We got $6 worth of signage material here. And then we had, uh, it was like $3.25. So let's just say it's 10 bucks to produce this sign. Full color. Um, I don't know what we paid for, we bought some standoffs we're gonna use for it as well. But this is something you're gonna have like maybe 15 bucks with the standoffs into. And you can sell this to sign to a customer for 40, 50 bucks. Easy for a good intermediate type of, of application. All right, so now we got the big boy going on. Right, what we're doing here is we're printing, this is a full bleed on this piece, um, just a little bit under 45 inches by just a little bit over 29 and a half, all right? Actually, we just about stretch it to 30 and uh, doing a larger print for one of these as well. This is another great application for your UV printers is doing fair priced, high quality signage for your customers that literally, as soon as this thing spits out, you're handing them a sign, they're ready to go. Um, you know, on this sign, let me do the math in my head real quick. Basically, we're roughly four feet by two and a half feet, 10 square feet of material, $20 worth of material. Now, we didn't clear coat this one, so the ink cost was actually about the same as that one over there because we didn't do two passes. So again, this sign is $20 worth of material, say three and a half dollars, four dollars worth of ink, call it 14 bucks. And now, all of a sudden, you get a double the size sign, and now you're talking about sign $75, $80, easy, maybe $100. This would be something for like a semi-permanent application. You could put this indoors for, you know, like a directional type of signage, you know, inside of a hospital or, a, a, you know, a business complex or something like that, professional building where you need to, you know, this office is here and this office is here and whatnot and do it in full color instead of just as, you know, traditional black and white type of signs or even this one that'll stick in numbers and letters and things like that. So just another great way that you can make good money with your machine and have a finished product. The other ways you would do this traditionally would be to print it on vinyl and then mount that vinyl to a piece of material, right? The same material if you wanted the same results and you're gonna have a lot more cost into the output itself, number one. Number two, you're gonna to have to wait for the, the material to dry and gas out. And number three, just like when we talk about our Coroplast signs in the past, you're also then gonna to have to mount it. And Mounting a sucker this big is no easy task because we're talking about almost four foot by two and a half foot wide, which is very difficult to do. And not only that, it just looks amazing. When this is done, I could actually hand this to my client. They could take it and go mount it or I could take it out and do the installation as opposed to having to wait basically 24 hours if you were to do this with a traditional print and cut type of system where you're printing straight onto the vinyl. So as we're watching it print, we're sitting here kind of brainstorming. What else could you do with this type of signage? Uh, construction site signage, concert signage, right? Some kind of a venue sign type of an event coming up. Indoor retail signage, you know, in the window type of signage for certain types of things. You know, you have items displayed and then you have a picture, you know, for clothing or something like that. Somebody wearing the clothing or anything like that. It's really a, a cool application. It, it's, a, it's an up, up step, you know, a higher grade uh, solution than Coroplast, right? So it does bring a higher rent type of pricing to it. It's nice and smooth. You don't have the corrugation to it. And um, it's lightweight, easy for a, an installer to handle. You know, it's, it'd be simple. And, you know, and if you were creative, you had a laser or something like that, you could actually take some of this, the leftovers and actually cut feet 
that you could set into this to actually prop it up itself. And if you wanted to, you could actually take and print that to match up to the, to the material itself so you actually have a self-standing type of sign made out of the same material. There's a, lot, a lot of our customers have lasers. And you start thinking outside the box like that, you can do creative things like this. It just kind of sets you apart with really no extra cost, especially if it was the scraps that were left over. You can cut out some feet to stand it up as well. So, I mean, the, really, the, the, it's almost limitless the different types of things you could do with this. You can see photo quality and a finished product. I, I probably can't stress enough one of the really, really big advantages of printing with a UV flatbed printer like the 600S or the big boy, the 1200S here is, is that when you're done, you're done, the signage comes off the machine, you can hand it to the customer. That means you don't have to worry about having a place to set this around to let it gas out, right? You don't have to worry about touching it again, which every time you have to touch a product, as we can testify here, if you guys saw what goes on before we do these videos, every time you have to touch a product, there is opportunity for something to go wrong. So the less you have to handle the product, less likelihood of, of human error, number one. Secondarily, less cost of labor. And that's really the cool thing. We're sitting here chatting while this is going on. The reality check is if you're running a business, you're walking away. You're off doing something else. You're, you're taking calls for customers. You're working with your other equipment right? You may be cutting boards down, prepping things for your next print, all while this machine is producing a finished product. And then you just stack it up and go, stack it up and go. Because it's fully dry, right? We, we Don't forget about that. It's fully dry. You don't have to worry about, can I stack these up? Absolutely fine. No challenges there whatsoever. And you can get as creative. You can get as print as good as you want. You can print as low quality as you need to. Uh, you know, we talk about 50-50 signs, signs that are being meant to be seen from 50 feet away at 50 miles an hour. Probably wouldn't print in this quality. I would print in a lower quality. Still get great, especially from what they're seeing as they're driving by and they're seeing a yard sign or something like that. For something like this, where somebody might be seeing it three or four feet away, five feet away, we printed a really good, what we call production quality mode and get really top-notch prints. And uh, we, we actually did some testing and we printed this at a, the next quality mode up. And uh, you could tell if you tried real hard the difference, but the trade-off was about 30, 40% in time. And so, you know, if you're looking to get turnaround on your machine, printing in this, this quality production mode here, you're going to put out 25, 30% more output in the course of a day, which means potentially 20 to 30% more profit for your company. Looks like we're almost done too. This is awesome. It's amazing to watch such a large sign be printed by one piece of equipment. Probably not a bad time to mention too, when you start to look at the 1200, as opposed, we do a lot of stuff on the 600. The 1200 is kind of a unique machine in the marketplace because of its size. You know, you have a lot of machines that are say 24, 18, in that range or 20, 28 and downward. A lot of machines in that range. And then there are a lot of machines that are four foot by eight foot, five foot by 10 foot that take up a whole room, right? The 1200S kind of sits in the middle by itself with a print area of roughly 45 by 30. We've actually done some testing. We've actually printed up to 32 inches long on this machine. So it kind of sits in a, in a category by itself, but it's going to be priced at similar prices to the higher end of the smaller machines and about half the price of the bigger machines in it. So it really does fit. You're going to need double doors, but you're not going to need a, a huge room with a 220 dedicated setup system and with only small, most of those are small gap type printers. You can still take this machine and print an item that's almost a foot deep. If I remove this sticky bed that's underneath it here and I max out that bed, literally I have right at about one foot of depth that I can print on. So that adds a whole new dimension of items, you know, toolboxes, things like that, that you could load into here and be able to print. Let me go ahead here and bring up the print that we did earlier, as you can see. Does this sign make this sign look big? I'm just saying, this is our 600S, it's a great, I don't think we've ever been able to do something like this. Literally, if I line these up to the corner, we have a lot of people asking about, you know, what's the difference in the print areas of the machines? Print area of your 600S, basically 1824. Print area of your 1200S, as you can see, more than twice the size, right? 45 and change by up to 30 and change right there. Great comparison of the two signs. Still 
equal quality if you were here and you could really look at it close. Equal quality out of both machines. There's no print quality difference. You pick up some speed difference on the bigger machine just because of some efficiency of the width. But roughly the same type of print speed. Uses the same ink, same software. So once again, printing some foamed PVC signs. I got it right. I was afraid I wasn't going to get that right. Foamed PVC signs using the 600S and the 1200S from Compress. And uh, just another great way to make money with your Compress IUV printers.